Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, folk. It is July 19, 2019, a Friday, and that means it's another one for basics. Now, as I mentioned last week, probably, I am on Foxy. We're going to start off slow with a nice little 1Q game over here, then we're going to jump into a one don, I know not where, and have just a wonderful day for basics. Now, before we do that, though, I want to say that we are at a record-breaking 226 patrons on Patreon as of the recording of this video. Thank you, everyone, for your amazing support on that platform, without which I could not do what I do. I don't say that enough. I do want to say one little thing, though. If you decide to become a patron on Patreon, just remember that you are not billed until the start of the next month. So, just... Bear that in mind in terms of, you know, rewards and stuff. Also, those of you who have gone to the products down below and bought yourself a little something at my store, thank you as well. Like I said, every little bit helps. I appreciate support, whether it's buying the merch on Patreon, on Twitch, wherever. You guys are sincerely generous and amazing. I appreciate it always. Weird. Got ourselves a 1053. Haven't played that in a while, and I do mean ever. Let's go. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you, because I always forget we can do that on this server. And I will do my lovely 3-4 facing. Beware, I'm moving my microphone. I'm not editing it out of the video. Sorry. And I will then go approach. Reason why is because I don't want to pause what I'm doing. Given that if I take too long, he's going to be like, Forget you, not playing you. You know, so we got that. I'm being kicked. I cannot say that is wrong nowadays because AI kind of do it too, man. As much as I would love to play something weird here, I'm not going to because it's basic day. So high or low doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to play high. Also going to go for nostalgic music again today and listen to some ever so lovely 30 coolest NES soundtracks. Oh yeah. So we've got ourselves a thing here. We can back off or pincer. It doesn't really matter what. I'm just gonna go ahead and pincer and just show that from here, the risk is we anticipate him getting our territory, right? So we're just trying to build up to there and over through here. Now notice I'm drawing the stones from my 3-4 point. That means if he gets a good living shape in here, he reduces pretty much everything I'm trying to do. We anticipated that. He didn't do it though. Is he going to shoulder hit me? What is he going to do? That's a bad move. Now if he shoulder hits me, he gets a really bad result. Don't make this exchange. Ooh dear. Okay, so we played away. So here's the thing. What are we trying to do here? Well, these are on the fourth line. This says it wants influence, right? We initially pincered with this little guy because he was going to be giving us influence as well. Now we have Sente. So how can we get influence? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. We're just trying to draw a little box around this area of the board. So we're literally going to put a stone along those boxes if we can in order to get stuff for ourselves. It's that simple. He'll jump out, probably. We are going to tap here first, just so we can't get an easy surround on us. And then we're going to jump out again. Like I said, we're drawing the boxes. Ooh, I will give him a nod for not going too deep. Going under. Now, from here, I'm just going to do it again. Because, like I said, we're literally just drawing a box here. This is fine. We're going to go fourth line, by the way. Now we've got this kind of thing growing. Seems fine. Just drop down. Hot ahead of two and three stones. This move is playable. I don't talk about it enough. And by that, I mean, I don't think I ever have. But technically, this is a cut that works. Because if he cuts straight down, he loses the two stones. If, we, if he Atari's over and then drops down... We can Atari and Atari and then connect, and it's just a lot of weird stuff we can do. But this is more than fine enough. 
Look how easy that was. You could have tried to resist a little bit more and play the Hane and stuff. That's fine. Could have invaded here, then we would just grow this area up instead. That's fine. Hey, look, Deadstone. Um, now, I know I can cap this and kill this. You might not. It's okay. He has to get past this to escape to freedom. So if you want to just make sure he can't do anything there, I mean, that's... It's completely A-OK. -okay. You can see here he has nowhere to go. Because in order to actually survive, this is my sector line. So he'd have to jump once, twice, three times to get out. And even then, right, we could go and play here because it suddenly redraws the sector line, right? So it makes it even worse. And you'd have to jump again and again. And it's just like, dude, are you really getting away with that? And come on, you know you can't. You know you can't. He can play here, we throw in, and then if he runs, we run too. Now, I'm just not going to mess with him. Bam, that prevents him from getting any kind of weird, you know, kind of shapies. Then we're going to cap him, just to keep things simple. Bonk. Make sure he can't get life. Make sure he can't get life. Try and be... Gr Oops, sorry. That, that was loud. I'm not sure I can clean that up. I hope I cleaned up the loud noise I just made. But... This kind of thing is super ridiculously common. I wish it wasn't. Like, you grow an area, he grows an area, and he says, oh, you can't have any of the area that you're growing. And it's like, dude, what the crap? You don't see me going up in your business and getting rid of all of your territory. Why you gotta do me like this? Alright, so he admits he's dead. Um, Like, it looks like this is pretty well his territory, so I'm just gonna go and reduce up here. Take the enclosure one. Now, you could say you you might be able to... I, I don't care. I, I just don't have a reason for it. Instead, check this out instead. Something I'm, lo I'm already looking at that I'm not sure if you can see. Rather than seeing, you know, can I invade in here? What if I kind of, like, poke at that area instead? That way I can, like, seal off this. He gets his, like, three lines, I get significantly more, right? So, looking at this and wondering, can I invade that? I'm not even sure that's the right question to ask, you know? I'm not even sure if it's the right question. I could link up under, I don't, I think it's small, so I'm just not going to do it. I like the defensive move, though. This guy's got, uh, this guy's going places. I'm not being snarky. I know it sounds like it a lot. No one can ever tell when I'm being serious. But I really do like that he's paying attention to the shape of his group. The fact that this thing has no eyes yet. I mean, I can still probably kill it because like, the attachment here opens up a lot of problems. Or maybe just like a direct throw in here or whatever. But it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway. I misclicked just three times. Good thing I clicked on a stone that already exists. Yeah, that's cool. I like it, but we're not gonna we're not gonna respond to any of that. Uh huh. See, my mouse already went. We're doing this to make sure that this Hane here is useless to him, and if I he lets me clamp him, he's dead again, right? So he has to play here, or here, maybe here, wherever. I don't really care. The clamp kills him. The clamp didn't stop that. Or this didn't stop the clamp. By clamping, he descends. That's an Atari into a connect. These stones are dead. He connects. I I think this still dies, but anyway. Um, similar to what we used in the Q game. Same exact idea. 
where can these stones go to? Well, they can only go this way, right? And easiest attack in the world is to get there first. Maybe even Hane back and just ensure that they can't get anywhere. So same principle ca uh, carried over from the lower ranked games. Same idea. Here we're probing because we're reinforcing the stone by giving him more friends. Now we ask ourselves again, where can this go? Well, it can go up, over, or over. Up, left, or right. Well, let's see. Um, if, it goes if it goes to the right, well, that's fine because there's nowhere to go there. So really what we're looking for is make sure he can't go here or he can't go here. So which direction can he go easier in? Well, one, two, three, and he's safe here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and he's safe up top. So the left is easier to connect to than the top of the board. Therefore, we take a look at that and we're like, boom, you can't do that one. Right? Makes sense? Um, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't do that one. Doesn't quite work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how uh, we're in decent shape here because of our shapey shapey? Shapey shapey! <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna random poke him. I don't know if I need to reinforce this, but I know it cost me nothing to do it. So I'm just reinforcing. See how I'm playing the forcing moves there? There. That was one, two, three safe. One, two, three, four, five safe. So you can kind of see how I'm asking these kind of questions over and over and over again. He can't go this way. We've just cut that off now. Because now he's one, two, three safe. Boom, not anymore. Was a good try. Was a good try. <laughs> Sometimes I miss the old soundtracks. <laughs> this is a good try, but he needs to play here in order to get nine here, and if he does, we just poke him. Connect solidly. Don't let any Aji through. So game one, we just killed everything because, uh, I, to be fair, I'm in like a really chill mood. I wasn't sure what kind of game we were, what kind of games we were gonna be playing today. I'm kind of just like letting my opponent dictate. You see how we're poking potential eye shape again? Just let my opponent dictate like what we're doing. I'm not really trying to do anything. It's like, man, you just tell me. What's up? Okay, this is all you, buddy. Mm. I don't think this works. I confess I did not read it out, but I don't believe it works. Mm. Do I want to capture this now? I'll go back and show what, I don't think this one worked either. We play like here immediately. No, we play here immediately, sorry, not here. Um, I'm going to Atari here and then I'm going to play here. That way if the Atari is this one, we get to defend and play here. Swizzles. Now, immediately drop what we're doing and don't get killed. We take this one first so there's no co. We play here, it forces this one. We play here. Take away more liberties. One, two. That's all he's got there, right? Ba 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 da 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 da. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we're fine, right? Let's take away that eye. And we're good. And we are good. How long does this game take? He wanted like 50 second Bio Yomi. We've been playing for 13 minutes. He's not even gonna get there. Why do you want the extra Bio Yomi? It sounds like a throw in here and a cat, like a little snap back dealio. I went over that really fast, but yeah, there was a thing there. But why do you want, like, he's got five minutes on the clock still. I could let him live. Let me let him live. I can never really judge, nah, whatever. I can never really judge, uh, the bloodthirst of YouTube. On stream, they usually tell me to let him live. Like, oh, let him live, let him live. But I'm never sure if that's because they want me to lose, or what. And bear in mind, there is also still the clamp here. Because that one can also be killed. So that really has to be played there. And this should just be given away. Um, this jump is just bad. Just don't jump this. Just go to the corner. It's a lot easier. Otherwise, you're playing this variation. But the problem is we have to go back and protect this still. It's it's a pain. We need like this one here. So we don't really like that one at all. Yeah, because from here it's it seems tough, right? Even this could be possible because we can develop this a way easier. I can't say this is bad, but there's just nowhere to live in there. Best we can do is like this. And then try to get this one in. Can't do this one. Because of that. So I'd have to draw back here. Even that's a bit of a question. I'm not sure if we can actually play the co out to its conclusion, but you know, there's Aji there, right? There is Aji there. I think that's pretty much the end of this game. Yeah, it was nice, fast, and sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, play one done. Jesus, that, that really didn't take long. 16 minute game, 16 minute game. Let's play again. This time, let's put things up a notch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, really quickly here, the game you are about to see on OGS is a bizarre one. There are two instances in this game that I kind of got a little bit tilted in, and I almost thought about throwing the game away, but it did have some really good things to take note of. Take note of his direction of play, how he's building to nowhere, what we do about it, why we do something about that. I'm sorry, it does look like there's like two instances in there where he just blatantly doesn't defend himself, when you obviously, obviously should have. So in that instance, it kind of felt like maybe he knew he was playing one of my basic accounts where I'm trying not to kill. And I, I admit, when I realized that thought going through my head, I began getting a little annoyed. So that part's a little, a little sour, but I do admit the earlier stuff is probably good educational material. So try to pay attention to that.
And the, the little bit of salt at the end, just, just, it's just seasoning. It's fine. It's just seasoning. Hope none of you are allergic. Hope you enjoy the game and you can learn from it. Guy is a weird one, though. Guy is a weird one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the game. Or will enjoy the game. Oh, I got a game. <sighs> All right. I will say hello to this fine individual. Oh, sorry, it took a while. Um, opening up 4-4. Four, four. I need to pick a different track because the track that I picked after my other game already ended. Uh, let's open up the exact same way. So we're on OGS, clearly. We're playing a 1Q, clearly. Rumor has it the OGS 1Qs are stronger than the other 1Qs. Let's just do things in a similar fashion and see where they go. The attachment to Nowhere is not my preferred. There is a very simple reason why I don't like this uh, particular opening that we can talk about here. I think my secret's out, by the way. Odd. And that is quite simple. We are currently building a wall. We are building a wall. Broadside faces here. But there is nothing over on this part of the board. So, I don't care what you're doing. In fact, I'll reinforce your wall, my man. Take the largest wall that has ever walled. Boom. Done. Now, I'm just going to play here and see if he goes and plays over this way. This way we're, we're preventing the Hane at the head of two and ten hundred stones. And now we're just going to split because there's wall. He chose to go corner, right? He had a choice. He has... Huge wall, and he said, I want in there, not I want over here, which is a bit of an odd just directional decision. I mean, it's territorially better, I guess, but if he was interested in territory, why is he attaching and blocking and building the wall to nowhere? It's kind of weird. It, it It's kind of questionable. <laughs> Got five people watching me. I think my secret's out. I think people know who I am. All right, so he's attaching to me. I'm going to respond to attachment, shoulder hits, and caps. Dangerous part of people knowing who I am is they know what uh, rules I'm operating under, how I usually don't try to kill people or go out of my way to do anything complicated, and that can have issues. I'm going to extend here to finish my shape, and then I'm even going to go ahead and play here and just fix it. We're also probing here, by the way. Kind of cool. Um, boop, there, alive. I'm still alive. Like, I don't see a reason to respond to that. Do you? Tell you what. I'll play here. Just to make sure I'm alive. He's playing there too. Um, Atari? There. Into there. There. 100% alive. We can play away now. All right, sweet. So, there's now a wall here facing this way to nowhere. So guess where we're about to play? If you said top of the board, have your cookie and eat it, my good person. He has to pincer me because he can't let me do anything. I'm going to settle with a small knight. I mean, I could settle this way too. I'm just going to settle this way. That way he can't throw in and attack me. And then I'm going to come out and come out. He'll probably play over here. His territory now is, is this. This is this is his territory, pretty much in its entirety. Um I've got a base, I'm out, so I'm gonna take up my extension, I got or my uh enclosure, sorry. I'm notice how I'm pulling back here and not playing the Hane. Because he wants me to end in Gote here, and I don't want to end in Gote here. Therefore, I will not end in Gote here. So then we just play a move like so. We got shape. How about that? You know, it was that easy to get shape? I bet you did. Y'all are smart. He's clearly just trying to kill me. 
I don't think it's in their plan because the rest of his territory has gone up in flames. Um, I could play here. It seems like a greedy. It seems like a greedy play. I'm not sure if I really want to do it. I don't see a reason to though. Just take the territory here. He gets a little bit. But I could play here. The reason being, the attachment onto the small knight is not really a thing. He has to Hane here if he wants to do anything, and then we can just do this in this one. And I'm going to do it. Just to show you. Just to show. Now you take his uh, forcing move away. Or the shape point away, sorry. And then some more little shapelies for ourselves. See about that? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Now, I don't want to kill him, but his group has no shape to it. If he lets me poke him and cut him, he might actually die, and I'm fine with that. I'm not trying to kill him. Don't want anybody to play the one. Da, na, 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 na. Turn here is good, cut here is good. Once again, his territory consists of this little dude. Um, so I see what he's trying to do. I'll just come on out. I don't, I don't have anything against him. Okay. Um, I'll. Come on out again. Apparently didn't like me coming out. Hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't, like I said, I don't want to kill him, but I am looking at the fact that if I cut here, this isn't alive locally, so theoretically, you know, never. I'm noticing that this small, that this could be disconnected too, so technically, but... We're not trying to kill anything. We're not trying to kill anything. So what do we do? We just settle, right? We just settle. How are we just going to settle? How are we just going to settle? I don't know. I guess I'll just make more shape, huh? Just like play a move like this or something. Not this one. It has a doohickey behind it. Um... I want to push and cut this. That's what I keep coming back to because he hasn't stopped this cut from working. Like, this doesn't prevent it. This would have, but he didn't play it. And I kind of want to take advantage of his shape. Because those little shape mistakes are actually pretty big. Are we really going to do this? Because he can either Atari me up, which is, you know, Atari the stone, and then all this dies. Or he can Atari me this way which runs into his little friend, and that's a problem too. So either way, he's screwed. But do I take advantage of that? I shouldn't in a basic game. I won't do it in a basic game. I won't do it in a basic game. For the record, I totally would have done it. In a, uh, <laughs> I totally would have done it in a normal game. Um, I, I can't believe I'm forcing him into life. Here you go, here you go, buddy. I don't understand the purse, the purpose of that one. Again, I'm not. I I don't understand why he's backing off like that. But, okay, whatever. Whatever, my good sir. Now I just play here and I'm alive, right? Yeah. There we go. We lived. It hurts my soul to have played that way, but we are alive. He's still poking at me. Tell him to stop it. K 
Can't believe we didn't cut that apart. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts, not having cut that. It's cool. It's cool. I'll get over it. The territory hasn't drastically increased. If he plays here, it's not Sente. He can push and I block. Yeah. The whole group's in trouble, man. Well, let's go out in the middle, I guess. We're not gonna pin. We're not gonna like play here and let them surround us and like build up a center or whatever. That wouldn't make much sense. So we're in here now, which is cool. I like it. It's a good place to be. Hope he doesn't kill himself because he looks like he's about to. Tari into drawback means this is dead. Hello? Sometimes people play things and I actually wonder if they just know that I'm not going to kill them in a basic series. Oh, don't do it. Don't draw back from this. Just kill them. The whole game is needlessly pointless. So needlessly pointless. Tell you what, I'll give you a chance. I'll let you live. If you don't surround me. All right. All right. Now, now we got something. Because, yeah, drawing back that kills this. If he plays here, we just play here. If he plays here, here, here. Here, here, we throw in. He was dead. Um, now we just take our enclosure. We have the entire bottom of the board. Seems pretty good. I forgot to log off there. He's trying to kill me. I just let him live. He's got to know I just let him live, right? <laughs> Maybe he's mad at that. I don't know. I don't like this game. I'm probably going to throw it away and play another one. This guy was just weird. And he still only has the upper left hand for territory. He still only has that upper left. He's blitzing too. Not even really using his time. He's five minutes left. Five minute main time. Like, what is. I don't understand. Reinforcing my connection between these two stones. He can't let me do the throw, and otherwise he dies. So. Like, really obvious stuff like this. He must know that I'm not going to kill him. Whatever. Rules, rules gone. I think he knew I wasn't going to kill him. A 1Q knows there's a throw in at your cutting point. So, yeah, upper right's dead. I don't. He gets to live in here, but this is gone now, so that's fine. This is Sente for me. I can't believe he just let us—he let me kill his bottom, his top group. That was weird. 
That was weird. That's Gote. Throw in here doesn't work. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn in here. See how far back we can push him. Uh, fun fact, I think this cut also works. I play here, he has to play here, I play here, he plays here, I play here, he plays there. And then if... Uh, no, I play here and he plays here. I do this one. He plays here, and then I do this one, starting to connect up under. He has to block me. Technically, I think there's something there. I think there is. I really do. Whatever. I'll just play here. Make sure my territory here is secure. Just play this one. Okay. Seems fine. Um... Sure. I still can't believe he killed himself in the upper right hand corner just so we can have take away this tiny area. I can only assume he he just assumed that, you know, I'm playing my basic account. There's no way I'll kill him. Because we don't kill my basics. I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. It's also why I'm more than happy to uh ditch accounts from time to time especially as uh, when i play on western servers i do notice when people know who i am they play differently Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. weird oh i am in bio aren't i oh okay sorry um Whatever, I'll just clamp. Your move again, buddy. And now the territory that he got is gone, so he lost this for nothing. Which makes that a little bit more awkward. This clamp also work. Ah! <laughs> That's cool. So this is my territory, that's my territory. This is his territory, still the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times three. And then uh, this stuff. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I've got six times three here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got like three more points over here than I do here. So the question is, where does he have this for territory? And um, where does he have this territory and this territory? Seems to be the uh, question for white right now. Tari. Um, I think this is Sente because blah, blah, blah into dead. Here, 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 and then, yeah. Um, does this work? No. Hey, this does, though. I'm not sure if it's actually a point or anything. I just know that it prevents him from getting, like, a potential eye space there. I don't think I can really do anything else here. Look, I can play here, have him cut me off and Atari him and have him connect. I just don't see what that does ever, so we're just not going to do it. So there you go. All of these stones, though, that you see here, though, didn't run. I guess I'll keep this game in. I don't know. 
I have to play another one, though. I don't like this game. I really don't. Not a fan of it. If he plays here, it's a mistake, so I can monkey jump. So, 817, I think, is a mistake. He gains, like, one whatever, and then we just, like, go all the way over to here. And he has to fall back massively. So instead, we're going to go here. Uh, okay. And then we'll play here, make sure he can't get any eyes there at all. And we pick up maybe two points. Oh, we should have a target here first. That's that's larger. Sorry, main game is trash. You guys all know that. And I forgot he didn't respond to my Atari down here. <laughs> Tari. Atari. Semi Atari. Poke. The infamous semi Atari. Everyone loves it. It's a crowd pleaser. Making sure he doesn't get any weird point there, and I keep these two happy little guys. Keep the two points, probably better. <gasps> he got a point of territory here! No way! Oh my god, hacks. Hacks, he got territory here. I said repeatedly, there was no points with this. I lied, he got one. Oh, my face is red. Wait, maybe he didn't. What? Okay, I could play here, and then he's gonna play here and here. So this is worth two points. Is there anything else worth more than two points? Like, I... Yeah, that's yeah, worth two points. Okay, is there anything else worth two points? I could just spitefully play this. No, it's worth two points! Oh, come on, this is worth more than two points. Is it, though? Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Spite. Just playing spitefully, playing spitefully. Hane, A5, Lord, just move now, block into the Atari. Word. Oh, I guess this would have been. Uh, would have been Sente. You're right. That was Sente. Good job. That that would have been a better move. That threatens to play here, and which is an Atari, and then words and stuff. I don't like the order of these moves. Because if you played here, I would block, and then maybe I'm wrong about the order. I'm just gonna play here real quick. Don't mind me. Poke here real quick. Dun. This is not worth anything, so we're not going to play it. This is not worth anything, not worth anything, not worth anything. Last move of the game. Man, oh man. Do I play on Pandanet then? I guess I could play on Pandanet, but, like, I'd probably take an hour in and of itself. Nope. No. None for you. Hi. Me again. That... 
again, doesn't do anything. Is this a... It's not a bot. I don't think so, anyway. He's playing really fast. Did he pass? No, he didn't. Didn't say any high or anything, either. Why are we filling in Dame? This isn't Chinese counting. Are you telling me this is like a bot? He's playing fast. Are we having fun? Why would a bot be programmed to fill Dama? That wouldn't make sense. The reason why I'm not playing again is because that, yeah, I can't do anything. Except remove. Yay, black wins. Again, I mean, the minute he killed himself here, it was just done. All right, so let's review. So this is a weird game, I completely confess. Very bizarre. He attached to me. The attachment's never really a good thing because you're just giving away points for no reason whatsoever. I guess you could play here because the cut works. Because if white plays this way, white should just resign. This is just a losing variation. Um... But yeah, like I mentioned previously, essentially what we have here is white has black, yeah, white has a wall, it faces this way, but there's absolutely nothing in here. So where, why are we building this wall? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense. Whereas territory is, you know, always making sense. Um, played here. At this point, we need, like, something over in here. Because we need profit. But instead he played this way. Now we can take it, because there's nothing he can really do here. As you can see, we're already alive. But we played here to see if he'd, you know, take the large point. And we did it again. He didn't, so we took it for ourselves. Um, here you can play here, or you can just play here. It doesn't really matter. Because even if he plays this one, there's nothing he can do. Like, my shape is completely fine. So we don't have to answer here again. But we did it because we were kind of hoping he'd like play something like this one. Now, this is actually surrounding this one, which is good. So you can say that he's attacking for influence, the influence is being used to surround, therefore he's doing something with his, with his stones. But it's just like a lot of really questionable moves right now. Um, another really questionable move is the fact that we can just cut straight through here. Because he has to be very, very careful. Since we can isolate his bottom group now. And keep in mind, there's still problems here. So there's there's just issues all over the place. He's a very, very aggressive individual. He's not attacking for profit. He's just kind of attacking for stuff. Just, just to, like, attack, you know? But if you're not attacking for anything, then where are your points coming from? That That's a huge issue. I wonder if this was better. I don't want him to play here. But it might have been. 
He didn't play here, I guess, because he realized this was going to end badly for him if he goes under like this. So he went into my corner, which I guess is okay. Uh, only problem here is... Again, what are we doing? I don't have any idea what we're doing. He's surrounding me. This cut works because that goes there. And this one goes here. So ladder is fine. Cut works on both sides. But I think this is the kind of thing the average player would, uh, the average 1Q would probably miss. The fact that this is a thing that doesn't have a good response. If he just backs off, I mean, he just gives up the stone, right? And he gives up that stone, then suddenly we've got one, two, three groups here, right? I guess that's kind of weird to see. Uh, a, B, and C, there we go. Which we can kind of like attack. So I kind of like pushed him into here, and then I got really mad at the game that I did that, because it felt really disgusting. And then this is just dead. It's just dead. There's there's no variations. He just he just died because he can't do this. He can't do this one. He needs to play here, and then I get to play this one. Now, the problem with this one is if he goes here, then this is going to work. It's like, oh, ha, 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 ha. like we play here into here, and now the top and the bottom are about to die. So we just have like a bunch of groups running around. Most of them can be killed at any given time. And... It, when you're not attacking for something, that's the problem, right? And then your opponent can find a reason to counterattack and just beat the living daylights out of you. Because your stones aren't doing anything. They're just kind of running around being aggressive and like shouting and screaming. So if you kind of like play nice and calmly against that, I have I will never understand why he just did not defend here like a normal person. Maybe he maybe he counted and and realized he was behind. I don't know. I don't know. But he did that. So not much to say. After we were nice enough not to kill him everywhere on the board. Hmm. And I think that's about the end of that. I think that's about the end of that. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, it was a much closer game with this being alive. Maybe he wins. I don't know. Maybe I backed off and I should have killed uh, the left-hand group. Maybe I backed off too much. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe without that, uh, I would have uh, lost because I didn't kill him. And I didn't cut this off and kill that either. Look, I try not to kill in basics. I really, really do. Just put the fact the last game. Unless it's like a really obvious, straightforward kill, I try not to. But yeah, that's... That's, that's that. Um... I'm not sure. Let me check the runtime I have so far, and I'll determine that way if I play again or not. All right, after careful consideration, I decided that I will be leaving this game up in its entirety, and we are nearing about an hour long uh, runtime, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Hope you enjoyed today's basics. Sorry about game number two, it was a little bit weird. Game 1 and the beginning of Game 2, at the very least, were a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed those. Hope you were able to learn from those. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, I will see you fine folks next time. Take care, everybody.